This is Pamela Combe with your News in 90 for Monday, October 21st. Florida inmates helped clean up parts of the state hit hard by a tornado. An area of Kathleen was in the path of an EF2 tornado that touched down Friday night. After the destruction, Polk County inmates were brought to help residents clean up. They were able to do this through an alternative sentence that allows them to work and help support their families while incarcerated. In Kathleen, their help was definitely needed. There is still much left to clean up, but the area is already looking better. On Saturday night, President Donald Trump announced that next year's G7 summit will not be held at the Trump National in Doral, Florida. President Trump tweeted that he thought he was doing something very good for the country by using his resort to host the summit. But after facing bipartisan backlash, Trump announced the resort will no longer be considered and a search for another site would begin immediately. The White House had been defending this decision to use Trump's property, claiming it would be significantly cheaper than other options. The new location has yet to be announced. The Chicago teacher strike is stretching into its fifth day today and all classes are canceled. More than 300,000 kids at more than 500 different schools will not be reporting to class for a third day straight. The Chicago Teachers Union and city officials negotiated through the weekend but could not reach a deal. The union demands reflect what teachers across the country are fighting for. That includes smaller class sizes, more support staff, higher raises and more school funding. The mayor and Chicago public schools say everything the union wants is not realistic. There is no more money. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.